some snakes will get flooded out of where they live and then or we'll try and just seek refuge inside. But what he did was he came out of the drawer. Yep. And he went down in behind the desk. Behind that bit there. Yeah, yeah probably still hanging out there. That's all right. You might be able to get my hook. Uh, where did he go? Is he? It's right there. I can see it, but I can't see it on this stupid camera. Draw. It's got to be a kill back. If we can, maybe. Um, oh, oh, just hold on. Might be enough. I've got the hook there, I've got a hook in the tail, mate. See? Just trying to get you tell me when you see it down coming out there, boys. I know. It's not a problem. Ah, it's a kill back. Come on, mate. So I can. Come here, mate. Come here, mate. Here it is. So. It is a keel back, which is good because if that was a venomous snake, I wouldn't have been able to pull it out by the front end. Oh, so, venomous. not perfectly harmless, but they do look like they could be venomous. So, oh, yes. I'll give you a look at it. Um, they do look superficially similar to a snake called the rough scaled snake, which is deadly venomous. So, even if you see one of these, might be best to call because I haven't seen a ruffie in this area, but uh, they do their range does go up to the like Fraser the Coast like region. No, 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 they're very placid. The mo the worst thing these guys usually do is let off a really foul smell from their cloaca, okay. which is just a defense mechanism. So if I'm an animal, I went to bite on it, it lets this foul stench into my mouth, and you let go of the snake. Um, but they've got a keel on each scale, which is what gives them their name, and so they're really, really rough. You might even be able to see yeah. the lines that it's got going down. And then this, they, this one is quite banded, but they can, the, the bandling can be quite, like the banding could be modelled or sort of not as prominent. This one, it's quite, you know, quite obvious. Um, they can all, also have an orange undertone to their belly, along the flanks and along the belly can all be orange. Um, but... A brown snake will stand up at you generally and show you their belly and they have orange spots. Whereas these guys, as you can see, have no spots at all on there. So it's not a brown snake. Um, these guys also have like a little smiley face. The way that their mouth curves up, if you settles down, it curves up like a smile. So it's happy. If it was a rough scaled snake, it's flat and they look a bit, bit meaner and grumpier. So, hey. But yeah, when I looked through, I saw that pattern and thought it could just be a keelback, but you can get brown snakes with it, like with banding across it and lighter pattern. So until I saw the head and a bit of um, detail on it to see the keels. But they are beautiful snakes, but you've done the right thing because they don't look like a friendly snake, in my no, opinion. Like it does. Yeah, yeah, that looks like, if you didn't know your snakes, you're going to think that's a venomous snake. They're quite thick and heavy bodied, like our lapids are. Whereas most, like a tree snake's really thin and skinny, but these guys are just in the same family as tree snakes. Oh, I've never had pythons in here before, and no, so. they're like, so we just... Like, yeah. Well, they... Put they, them at the back of the creek, you know, they'll... These guys are the only native animal that can su successfully eat a cane toad and be yeah, fine. Right, good. Yeah, So they're actually quite important to have in Queensland because... Hey, mate. Beautiful little snakes, hey. There he is. We're going to see if we can get them to swim for you and see what they look like when they go for a swim. Awesome. Alright, so let's let him go. Let him go into the water. Watch, oh, he's already under. I thought he was going to go over the top, but he went straight in and under. Is he going to pop up over there, I wonder though. There it is, over there. Good noticing, Hannah. He's all the way over there to that hibiscus. Wow. It's got to be the same snake. Yeah. It's got to be. So it's quite far. Can't see him now though. Mm, Did it go back under or? Might have once it saw us moving over. Wow, how's that? 